Hey, curious kids, it's time for Science Thursday with Dr. Martha. Let's get started. Before we start science, you wanna make sure that you are wearing clothes that your parents say is okay to get dirty. You also want sleeves that are not gonna get in your way. So let's roll these up before we get started. Today's science activity comes from 365 science activities published by Osborne Publishing and distributed by Paper Pie Learning. You are going to need one oven safe glass bowl, one clear glass cup, a measuring cup, some baking soda, and some boiling water. Step one is to put even amounts of baking soda in the cup and the bowl. The next step is to add even amounts of water of different temperatures. So to the cup, we are going to add cold water. I am adding one cup of cold water. It does not matter how much you add, just so long as you add the same amount of hot water to the other dish. Let's watch what happens. All right, not seeing a lot happening here. There's some water settling down into the baking soda, but there's not a lot that we can see going on. So. Let's now add one cup of hot water to the baking soda in the bowl. Ask your parents for help if you need it handling the hot water. Okay, are you ready? Watch closely. Can you hear and see what's happening in here? It fizzed up. Why did that happen? And why didn't this one fizz? Let's talk science. So what's going on here? Why did the hot water make the baking soda fizz, but the cold water basically had very little visible effect? Well, here's what's going on. Baking soda is a chemical compound known as NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda has a pH of 8.3, which means it's slightly basic. Baking soda interacts with acids. Acids get in there and they break off carbon dioxide molecules from the sodium bicarbonate molecule. This causes bubbles to be visible and it also causes the bubbles that form in your cookies when you use baking soda to cook. Water is acidic, so it will make the reaction go forward, but cold water makes the reaction go forward slowly. Look at this. You can see the bubbles. They're there. And if I move the glass, I release the bubbles from the bottom. You can see them rising. But it's not very exciting, is it? It's way more exciting to watch this happen, where everything bubbled up like crazy. That's because we added heat. We catalyzed the reaction and made it go faster. We can do that by adding heat to the same reactant that we've used. Here we have cold water, here we have hot water. The only difference was the temperature of the water. We can also use a stronger acid. If we use lemon juice, for example, which has a pH of two, we're gonna make this reaction go forward real fast. I'm gonna leave that up to you to try. Take a teaspoon of baking soda and add some lemon juice to it and see what happens. It's your turn.